Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to WWE 2K24, and by God is this game amazing, and with the special guest referee, you know, none other than the casket, the ambulances, more people being able to be backstage doing a brawl instead of just 1v1, I mean the gauntlet matches, the, the crowd signs that we can have custom now for our characters, you know, and a lot of amazing more things that are come are coming and going to be showcased here because you know these are three creations that I've well had for a very long time starting with the guy all the way to the left that is Mike Ross Jr. and he is someone that I used to create even though Jr. wasn't the name but it's just Mike Ross he was someone I created from back in like shut your mouth days here comes the pain days and you know leading all the way up into like this type of era of wrestling you know and then around 2K16, then I wanted a different persona, like a different persona, you know, not just Mike Ross, but you know, it's something differently. And I came up with a character, Maverick. And then the, around 2K16, PS4 allowed you to stream. So uh, out of RP, they became brothers, you know, and I became Mike Ross Sr. And he became Junior all the way to the left, and I became um, the commentator, the owner, and whatnot of WCW. And I RP'd from back in the days when I was Mr. Reed 16, that I was the owner with 100 credit wrestlers uh, and whatnot, you know, and 100 gimmicks and all that. Now, obviously, the music was copyrighted, but all that is gone and stuff. And I even did it a little bit in the days when I switched over to Mickey Rose A95. But now I am Firefly Gaming, and I'm bringing this here for 24 not 23 even though i did plan to bring 23 but th i'm glad i waited because this is 10 times better than 23 and i would never ever 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 go back to 23 from after experiencing what i've been experiencing here in this version so basically i'm going to be showcasing things because i want to do a series like i did back in the day and it's going to be WWE Universe Mode, it is going to be RP with 100 credit wrestlers, 100 credit gimmicks, and 100 plus non-copyright music. So, 100 wrestlers are going to have their own gimmicks, their own styles, and where they were from, and a lot of them are OGs that are going to be returning that I have made from 16 on, and a lot of them I know, but there's going to be people where we get, me and my broadcast partner get to come up with the RP for them. We get to say oh, this person was from here and blah 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 and we get to have fun doing so because i have fun doing it i get to sit here and see this amazing action sometimes i will get to play the action now obviously if that was going to happen would my broadcast partner want to do the same thing and take over he would obviously have to do on those special occasions if he decided to do so be here because obviously i mean i could record the match while he's here you know type deal and get it all edited and whatnot and then obviously when we're recording he could just you know step away from the mic and mute for a few you know while I'm commentating for the match or he could even still commentate and just say that his son came out and whatnot because you know one day we're gonna retire and be done with all this nonsense you know our sons are gonna take over and they'll be at the booth one day so it'll be the anarchist Chris Carter or maybe, maybe Buster's at the booth with with either Maverick or Mike Ross Jr., you know? And vice versa. You know, hey, heck, maybe even Christian retires sooner and Christian goes to the booth. <laughs> You'll get to see more about those characters, you know, in the future and whatnot. As I'm showcasing these three, I plan to showcase more of these new matches and whatnot and showcasing these three. And then eventually when I get more than doing the bigger gauntlet matches and showcasing them and whatnot, you know. But for the time being, I'm not showcasing none of the new matches, no special guest referee, no 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 last man standing, you know, type or buried alive, you know, or whatever or hell in a cell. It's just a triple threat at WCW Monday Nitro and it's basically gonna be father versus sons and sons versus father and brother versus brother versus father and son versus you know you know father you know vice versa you know you could do it many different ways so basically i'm not going to be playing this match because normally i'd be commentating and whatnot but i'm just showcasing and so these three already have non-copyright music in there thanks for 2k23 sound editor working for 24 which is amazing because then 
I was able to just to see because I was like, hmm, I know it's only the first day, but does, you know, sound editor work? And someone on Reddit said, yep, and I went and checked it out. Now, I got to re-download it so I could wipe all the music from 2K23 that's still trying to recognize, even though this is 24 files, but it's still trying to recognize that I changed everything in 23, which I did. So others had to re-download sound editor rechange their music which I know who they have and what they're set to and then I want to do everything slowly there's crowd signs that are custom now that we could do so I want to give all my wrestlers that I can and I will I want to give them all custom crowd signs with their names or whatnot so that way it's just not the generic WCW signs that I've been giving them from from 2k16 all the way to now it was just always WCW number one WCW rules my first WCW uh, WCW event, you know, type deal. And now they got custom crowd signs and a lot of amazing things. And I do plan on getting a new custom arena. I do plan on, you know, getting new belts for WCW. Now, for the special guest referee matches, I've been testing it out with custom wrestlers. I'm not sure how that would work. Um, maybe I could go try to add one of the wrestlers like or some of the real official wrestlers that they finally added to the freaking game you know and maybe i could try to add them and change their attire so that way their referee attire is maybe like what the wcw wrestler is wearing and i'll just you know play as them um but yeah we'll, we'll have to see how things work but a lot of new things a lot of amazing things and I cannot wait, but here are three of my creations, the one on the left from all the way back in the shut your mouth days, and then Maverick coming in 16 along with me, myself now, that I portray as senior, and you know, and my three creations, you'll get to know more about these as RP continues on in the future when it does start, and you'll get to know who all these wrestlers are, you'll get to, it kind of like, you know, if you ever watch Orange is the New Black. And you know how the intro when it plays and it goes, remember all these faces type deal, you know? And, it, and it's just saying all that mumble jumbo over and over. Yeah, you're going to remember all these faces because you'll get to know who they are and you'll get to have your favorites on who you like and dislike. And if you don't like this content, well, if it's not up your alley, I understand. I love doing this. I think it's amazing. I get to record and make like my own actual wrestling show and make it into a real episode by editing and doing all this amazing things and non copyright music and, you know, commentating and having fun. You know, in some matches I do will play, but most of them I want to see what they could do. It's universe mode. I want to see who's going to be my champions, who's going to fight and make it to the top. And yeah, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go with my three creations, Mike Ross Sr., Mike Ross Jr., and the Maverick Maverick, Maverick Ross. So let's get on with this triple threat match, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you in the future for more. So enjoy, and I will see you all next time. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Evansville, Indiana, weighing in at 236 pounds, the phenomenal one, the Maverick, Maverick Ross.
and his opponents. First, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 242 pounds, the hardcore icon, Mike Russ Jr. From Lafayette, Indiana, weighing in at 151 pounds, the legend, the man of a thousand holes, Mike. I'm actually spinning on ladies and gentlemen, I didn't set it up for a minute because I'm sitting here and I love the new feature that they added as the match is playing on. I could sit here and I could change how the cup scenes are going for another of the match. So if we go here and I hit X on my controller, I could swap from different angles. I was in the crowd earlier trying to figure out how to get away from the crowd. And you just keep on swapping your X button, your X muscle. 
you can get different camera angles this time. So I'm basically, I'm basically the cameraman this year. Now obviously I could just not touch anything and leave it facing, you know, the ramp, but this is pretty cool. I'm like up close. I'm like the guy in the production and I'm sitting there, you know, choosing the angles and whatnot, you know? This is, this is pretty amazing. And I can swap back to, you know, the original angle. And it gets the whole... So that's pretty cool. I figured, you know, the match was going on. I was messing around with it. I figured I'd come in and, you know, showcase it off. But you got my little room. The Maverick Maverick taking it to his older son, Mike Ross Jr. Then you got me, Mike Ross Sr., the father of both of these two in the ring trying to do what I got to do, taking it to them, you know. And they got a lot of amazing things that they edit. Now, I don't know how to get rid of the toggle info off. If anyone knows how to get that off, or maybe when I'm not recording, I'll have to pause the game and see if I can just set it in there. That's the only thing that, well, I well, only have one, I only have one. <laughs> I almost got it, <laughs> but no, if there's a way to get that off, if anyone can figure it out, let me know in the comment section down below, that would be very appreciated, and whatnot, as I said, I'm testing things, so I'm not going to be doing no universe content just yet, I still got a lot of wrestlers to create, so this gives me time, you know, to fix all the bugs and issues and whatnot I got to do to make this more legit, you know, but yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm going to let the match continue on, no more done. I'll go over and show you what they look like uh, hands on and then we'll end the video there. But yeah. I'll see you after this. Ow! I'll see you after this match is over with. Hopefully I get the win.
for the pen. One, two. No, only a two. So, another thing I just noticed when they're doing submission moves, ladies and gentlemen, is you see when they go to hit, it's not just them hitting and nothing like happening and just like letting go of the hold. He actually hit him and he let go and dropped them instantly and you heard the thump when he hit him. So that's, that's another improvement I just saw. I figured I'd let you know and see that, but let's continue on this match and see what more interesting things that can catch my eye as I sit and I watch because obviously I'm gonna be commentating and whatnot and watching this amazing action. So I can't wait to see what more they can do. I'm impressed. And plus the wide open after I turn it. So yeah. Let's continue on with this action and see what more crazy things happen. something that's already kind of catching my uh, my ears um, with some other weapons that I'm rolling. I get it. It's not fully out yet, so we could test it out and figure out what some bugs may be before it's fully released to the public. And I wouldn't get to know them. We wouldn't get the, you know, 40 years of WrestleMania cut down. But, yeah, that weapon sound was kind of glitched. But, yeah. But once again, going back to the, you know, one good thing that uh, is catching my eye is when you do the submissions, they'll break it up better. And you'll get me. But yeah, other than whatever that sound was, which I think it was the chair. Yeah. Not legit. <laughs> but yeah, let's get the things on. I'll come back and try to see any more craziness or things that catch my ears or eyes, you know. Before I do a little showcasing on my three guys, which are subject to change, and these are the three that I'm going to be working on first, until I fully get them how I like them, because the game it just came out, ladies and gentlemen, so there's going to be a, a lot of time for me to wait until I can find a lot of people uploading tattoos and cool designs that I could do to use to make and get for these people, you know, but if you haven't got the game or whatnot or you're thinking about getting it this is what the main menu looks like so these are basically all the little menus you can go through with all the people on there and they updated uh, where you can go get your community creations whatnot and the leaderboards and 
instead of it being, you know, where you could go left and right, it's like a square now, and that's a little different, you know, so, but continuing on, you got more of the menu boards and whatnot, so yeah, it's improved if you go to play, obviously, you got a lot of amazing arenas, which are a lot, so technically, when you would come to like around the WCW side of things and most of the 2K series, that was like the end of their arenas, usually. Usually. I know that some of the versions had Starcade and some other ones, and you know, it went along down here, but usually when you got to the WCW Nitro, that's where it kind of ended with the arenas, you know. And I'm glad with this one, it doesn't show it. I don't know why it doesn't show it, um, it but it it's next to the skull for the WCW and in the ring they fixed it and I believe you see it in the ring a little it's got the Slim Jim logos they finally added it in, in 2K22 that was a mod that someone made because they said that's dumb why would you make a game of Rey Mysterio and do the showcase for him but the arena that he was at you can't even put Slim Jim couldn't even, hey, Slim Jim, do you think for that match that you promoted back in the day, you think we could use your logo and pay you some money, and you know, but, you know, Vince's regime probably was like, nah, I ain't gonna pay them money, you know, but yeah, but if you come back up to the arena, it's like, usually that's where it would end around there, but you got a lot of amazing arenas, heck, the War Rumble is even the outside arena now. Obviously, yes, it's not the entrance ramp like how it would have looked in the actual venue. I mean, obviously, it, it's not that advanced yet. It would be amazing if that could be advanced, but I'm pretty sure maybe they'd have to do like a custom entrance for every wrestler to have their own Royal Rumble entrance like they do with the championship entrances, you know, if they were to do something like that because it's, it's a weird design and... It'd just be weird, but, I mean, it's the outside arena, and you got some pretty cool arenas, even though I'm not doing, like, uh, the WWE stuff, I'm doing WCW, I mean, pretty cool arenas, you know, I mean, there's a lot that's locked, and the ones that are locked, you know, and, like, we even got, like, a Japan working arena, <laughs> like, this is pretty amazing, but, like, and we even got a W Live event now. And the WrestleMania. But yeah, usually like around WCW and WrestleMania, that's where it ends. But now it's not going to end around WCW no more, or at least in this version, because we got all these new arenas that we never, ever, ever was able to get our hands on. And there's 10 times more arenas in this version than none other than, you know the version from last year and the years before because it's basically the 40 years of WrestleMania and it's got all the WrestleMania arenas so there's a lot of cool arenas you know and then when you go to the match types if you go to one on one you got another than a special guest referee which that's amazing I played that and I did it um you got a casket match brand new, I haven't played it yet, but I played the special guest, but I haven't played this one yet, and I haven't played the ambulance match yet, but there, there are going to be some, a showcase here, um, along with more matches to come, and any updating I do with my characters in the time being, because obviously, as I said, I gotta wait until I get more people uploading stuff before I can continue just making people like I would in the other versions because when I had 23 it was out for a good while before I got it and there was lots of uploads where this is the first day as I'm recording this and it maybe drops the second or third as you're watching this there's not that much stuff out yet but obviously these are three new special matches that are pretty good along with if we um, go down sit down here where is it? Where is it? Oh no, it's right here. So right here. So gauntlet matches. So basically we got three different gauntlet style matches. I'm not sure what the original gauntlet is or um I know what the eliminator is. Maybe the original gauntlet. I mean you could do thirty people in either one. I'm not sure what it is. As I say, it's my first day playing. I haven't really gone through any of these matches. You know, I decided, you know, I want to see what the special guest was about. And then 
you know, I went and made my three main characters because they're my three main characters and those characters are always the first three to get made no matter what. So, I mean, yeah, but pretty cool matches. I know the eliminator will probably be, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, say it's for the World Heavyweight Championship, then you gotta survive all 30 people if you wanna try to win that belt or the regular gauntlet. I'm not sure how that is not an eliminator or how the eliminator is different. I mean, that's for me to find out and showcase and find out. And, you know, as I'm finding out, showcasing it, recording for you guys in the future, it'll be something I find out with you guys, you know. So, yeah, but some pretty uh, cool matches. Still got the war games and whatnot, you know. And, yeah, but... Um, speaking of wrestlers, let's go on to the wrestlers and showcase. As I say, they are subject to change because obviously I couldn't find a lot of tattoos. So Maverick, and, you know, me, me, and um, my son, you know, we all got you know kind of like matching tattoos and whatnot, you know. But hey, it is what it is, and it makes us look better because we got tattoos now. But the, as I say, th things are subject to change. And you know, and I can't wait, but obviously, this is what Maverick looks like, and obviously, as I say, I don't know if he's going to stay this way or whatnot, but one thing I like about um, what you could do, and I'm going to showcase things in here that are different, is if you were to, like, go over here and hit, like, R1 or whatnot, you could make, like, that your referee attire and your manager attire now, so instead of, like, you know, going here... And then, like, you go to your edit attire, because this is his entrance attire, you know? And then, you know, there used to be a slot that said, you know, manager or superstar or whatever, or wrestler. It, it, it don't say that no more. You basically do it here now, which, that's a, an improved upgrade, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, but basically, this is uh, the Maverick, 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 uh, the Maverick, Maverick uh, Ross. He is uh, my youngest son out of RP, and... As I say, he's always made it to the world title, won it, and lost it pretty quickly. I like him a lot as R out of RP, you know. He's my best son out of RP, you know. Fuck Junior. <laughs> but, you know, he just, he gets too cocky once he wins it. And he loses it. But he's gotten better. And hopefully, the things that I've t taught him, and things he went out and learned in Japan... And some other places he went and wrestled along with some of these um, amazing OGs and new people I might find. We'll have to see what he could do with all these people that learned new things or, you know, got what it takes, you know, to go up against a caliber like Maverick or someone and take him down, you know. But we'll just have to see what he's got in the future of, you know, WCW out of the RP. But I think if we go to the next one, obviously this one, as I told you, I used to have this one as Mike Ross, and he was never junior or senior. He was someone that I kind of made, like, he usually had buzz haircut, or he had, like, kind of like, uh, uh, like, you know, the hairstyle where it's, like, going down, like, kind of like a raven hairstyle, almost. Not long hair like raven, but, like, it's going in your eyes, kind of like Dean Ambrose, in a sense. Kind of something similar to that, but he was using something like that, or buzz cut styles or he was bald and then instead of having a long beard usually it was just you know either a goatee or he had like uh you know that went around like from the bottom of his chin and then around his mouth you know that style of mustache but basically as i say all these are subject to change these people but yeah basically this is uh mike ross jr and then when 16 came then that's when he became junior and then Maverick was my other persona I wanted to make for, you know, the career mode and whatnot. And then that became his brother. And then I wanted to do some recording since I could live stream on my PlayStation. And then Senior became, you know, who you're about to see next. But obviously this is what he looks like. As I say, subject to change. I'm not sure if I'm liking um, what I put on for his entrance attire. I wanted to get the Tomasa Champa jacket. But I'll uh, show you what that um, jacket looks like here in one second, as my controller just wants to randomly, you know, just keep dying on me for some reason, <laughs> and it's been doing that lately, I need a new controller, badly, but, 
If I was go to the clothing, and I was to go to here, if I go down, I believe it's this one. Is it this one? No. Um, right I'll definitely see it because it says Champa. Don't get me wrong. I wanted him to have this jacket. And this is the jacket that he should have. It makes his, you know, entrance look better. But you go here. Why is there only one color I could change? And why is there only Champa's letters? That is the most ridiculous nonsense I heard. Because obviously, Mike Ross Jr. is doing black and red. That, 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 I mean... Yes, black goes with everything, and I get it, but no, in my eyes, it doesn't go with that. I'd have the blackout champa. It just, yeah, so that's why I chose what I chose right there. But as I can say, things are subject to change. Now we're going to go on to the main attraction in my eyes, because out of RPM, a legend, I wrestled back in the day for WCW and whatnot, and I got the wrinkle the not not the four wrinkles on my head but i got the wrinkle on the forehead and i got the wrinkle on the back of my head you know because obviously i got some age i'm not old old but i got some age you know i'm up there and whatnot you know so i mean but yeah this is what my guy looks like you know and obviously i rp that i am the man of a thousand holds my cross uh, senior and i was the last uh person to, you know, be in the Heart Foundation along with some of the other talent like Chris Jericho and whatnot, you know, and yeah, so basically this is my character, and um, he is the father of uh, Mike Ross Jr., he is the father of, you know, um, Mike Ross, uh, I mean, the Maverick, Maverick Ross, you know, but obviously there's one thing that's kind of mind-boggling to me because, I mean, obviously it says make that your referee attire but see I'm, I did that for many times for the referee match and it doesn't set it for the referee attire for them they come out wearing the WWE and I don't know if that's something that they need to fix and patch but I know that's an issue and I know they're probably not going to see this video so I mean no sense saying fix this 2k because i'm not one of those popular streamers which one of those popular streamers that do support and you know have contact maybe that they came across this and realized hey this thing's not working you know but yeah so basically this was supposed to be my uh my you know referee attire for wcw and obviously it was subject subject to change like i said because obviously i mean i wanted something different but i mean obviously i don't know what new logo of WCW I'll have if I'll do a new WCW or a new arena, new logos, maybe I keep it class, I don't know what I want to do yet but I know for a fact that basically this is what my character is, he was supposed to have that referee attire set for him and I was going to, you know, for the first showcase actually do me um, being a referee against my sons and screwing one of my sons over <laughs> but yeah, so basically this is the Bret Hart attire, you know, type deal and whatnot. And yeah, so this is basically what my guy has. And all three of these characters are basically set. They have their non copyright music and whatnot. And yeah, they're basically good to go and whatnot. And think, as I say, things are subject to change tattoos, everything, you know, vice versa to, you know, get them how I want them to look officially. And then once I get all three of my creations fully done and how I want them to officially fully look like, you know, and I'm set um, my heart's desire, then I'll start slowly on, you know, hit my broadcast partner up, you know, in the future and saying, okay, I want the next people made in line is, you know, Chris Sr., Chris Jr., Christian Carter, the Animal Buster, um, if he wants to RP that Buster, you know, has, like, a son or a kid, because I know, in 2K23, I was gonna RP that they had, he had a son and kid, because eventually people like us are gonna retire, so, you know, I wanted some more hunts, so I, I gave a girl named Jessica Hunt, I gave, uh, another than a son named, uh, they didn't have Dominic, but Dom, for short, Dom Hunt, 
and then obviously I brought uh, his wife which was I think Christina I I know it started with a C I know but I mean I wanted to bring some you know more hunts because there's there was the Carter side and then you know I wanted instead of just having the Carter and the Ross side I wanted you know the hunt side you know and obviously if I RP'd like some more family members with a different side which I mean obviously I probably could and, you know there would be like some mega family factions in there and family wars but you know I'm not sure on how I want to do the family wars and how I want everything to be portrayed out and whatnot in the universe because as I said I don't know who I'm going to have I don't know who's going to be and what tag teams because I don't even know who the tag teams are I know there's only like Two tag teams that are official, and that is the Midnight Express, Carmelo Cook and Javon Hall, and that is the uh, Punisher, Chris Barrett and BBD, and other than uh, the Brothers of Destruction, and whatnot. You know, so I mean, obviously we're gonna have to see what things play out, and then maybe in the future we'll be able to plan out once we get the characters and we're getting close to the end, or we're fully with the all 100. We can say, okay, maybe we change these people up real quick, and then do this. And then we set them as, a, you know, a faction. And then we do that, you know. And it's just, I, we gotta, we got it's a slow roll pace. And once we get it, we get it. But before I end the video, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one more thing I want to go over with you guys. And this is one thing that I noticed when I was going to s select my character settings and whatnot. And that's when I got here to crowd signs. So when you go to crowd signs, not only can you have none other than, you know, the WWE ones. But... You get a generic one, so you get the generics, you get um, the WWE ones, but then right here, this one is a custom one. Now, obviously I went the wrong way when I was going to tell you which one next was generic, and I went to this one. But obviously WWE generic and then custom, create your own. So you click on it, and I haven't done it yet, and eventually in the future I'm going to do it. I don't know what type of images I would want for myself. I know... One of the Heart Foundation logos maybe I'd want, but you know, I gotta figure out, you know, exactly on how I'd want the logo to look, how I would want it to be, you know, and see what it's going to look like for every person when you come out and see it in the universe mode in the future. But yeah, that's one cool thing that they added. So no more just generic ones, no more just WWE ones, you know. These these two slots are in the past because now you could just create your own and why wouldn't you want to create your own? It makes your wrestler better. So yeah, other than that ladies and gentlemen As I say, these three are subject to change. So, we got Micro Senior, which is me out of RP. He came in 16 after many, many years of using this character, which is just Mike Ross. And then, never was Junior or Senior, but then when 16 came out and I wanted to do something different for, you know, the story modes that they were creating and whatnot for the 2K series, this is when Maverick got created. And then when I found out that I can go live, then that's when Senior got created. I became the commentator, I became the owner of WCW, and then every Monday I started doing, you know, my live shows on, you know, the PlayStation. And then this became my oldest son, and this became my youngest son. And that's how my Ross family got created. Now, obviously, I could RP that, you know, Junior, his son, you know, um, which I'm going to bring in the future. I don't know when, as I say, these three are subject to change. I need to find different tattoos. They all got basic got matching tattoos or whatnot. But Mike Ross Jr. has a son named Kennedy Ross, and I would like to bring him. Um, Maverick, I don't, wouldn't say he has a son yet, or if he does, too young. I don't know. If I would want to RP that he has a son yet, I don't even think I want to RP that Maverick decides to have kids. Maybe he doesn't want to have kids, you know. But maybe he does. Maybe in the future, like. <laughs> I don't know, or as I said, I don't know how the RP is going to go, you know, so, you know, things are subject to change, and I don't know, this is just me showcasing, testing, showing three of my creations, and things that are going to change, things that, um, uh, that were cool about this game and whatnot, and things that I saw, but yeah, so, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, with these amazing matches right here, if I go to one-on-one, you got the gauntlet matches right there which is something new that they added and then not only did they add special guest referee but a casket match and an ambulance match and 
some amazing things that you could do in all those matches. And just an amazing, you know, overlay texture. I like it. It's pretty cool. And it looks different, you know. And yeah. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And stay tuned for the future for more content of showcasing of the WCW and WWE 2K24 um, content with new creations of people for the RP and whatnot. And, you know showing you things that I may have changed or certain creations that I've already showcased because as I say things are subject to change but if you like what you saw don't forget to like comment share subscribe and stay tuned for more you know GTA thrilling RP that's here to come whether that's in you know SVRP or maybe in another server that I mean I was once a part of and it's basically a new server, but the same server, and some of the cars and vehicles that I had purchased with my brother back in the day, we might be able to, you know, do some videos with getting our hands back on it and whatnot, you know, with Mickey and Dickie and whatnot, but as I say, stay tuned for that sterling stuff. SVRP is still my home, but, you know, I like to have, you know, a variety of, you know, sometimes when SVRP gets boring, you know, and... It's a new community, new server, so, you know, trying to get people to join is, you know, not, 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 not such a good thing when you have people just wanting the GTA RP, not RP, but GTA Online, you know, <laughs> the server. But, yeah, other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more showcasing and WWE 2K24 content.